Okay, I want to do a side teaching called What We Should Do, uh, Churches Across the Nation When the Government Eventually Falls uh, Through World War III. World War III will cause the American government to fall. I don't know when it is. I don't say I know. I don't know. Okay, could be 2024. could be in 20 years. This is not an instruction for the non-believers. Mostly on the YouTube channel, it's believers. So this is who it's for, believers. And maybe for some preppers out there that are thinking about becoming Christians and, you know, going to heaven. Um, all of the times in history that God has judged a wicked nation, he has judged it with a slightly less wicked nation. Okay? Uh, the Babylonians were wicked, so God judged them with the Persians. The, Jerusalem was wicked, super wicked, so God judged them with the slightly wicked Babylonians. You see this pattern over and over again. It would be a mistake to say that that's how it's going to be in World War III. It's not going to be like that. This time, uh, the war is called in Revelation Armageddon. I nickname it World War III. I believe it's a synonym. I think they're the same. It's going to be different because the Bible says all mountains, that is all governments shall fall. All of them will fall. So it's not going to be just a weaker one like China or Russia and God empowering them to nuke America and destroy us. Which God, but America will nuke them back. Okay, the, 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 the money printing bankers are not going to have the control they think of because God is in control. Every nation will fall. Every government will fall. We don't know if that means 20% of the earth dies or 50% or 90%. Or America. We don't know the percentage, but we know this. The infrastructure of the leadership will fall in these countries. And that is the truth of historicism. That's why that eschatology is so important. So I have said this since 9-11-2016, the day this church has started. I've said it the same way, and I want to say it again, because people lie and misinterpret of what Pastor Aiden's saying here. I've always said the same thing. What I'm about to say next, it cannot be implemented until the government falls. It cannot be implemented, okay? Otherwise, you're in sin. Otherwise, you're an anarchist. But when God does this, and it's most likely going to be an EMP or grid down or nuclear attack from Russia, China, or both of them, or North Korea, but it's going to be big, and then we're going to strike back, and it's going to be 10 times more devastating than World War II, which killed over 50 million people, but it just affected mostly Europe. It's going to be all over the world. It's going to be way worse, okay? And then however it happens and when it happens, I don't know. But after the dust settles... The Christians, once the government falls, in their local towns must declare their country a Christian country. They must declare it a Christian country. That's what this church will do. They must put signs up in a three-mile radius, five-mile radius, 15-mile radius, 50-mile radius. Whatever the local Christians decide that they want to do, don't, don't, don't take off more than you can chew. Don't buy more than you can chew. However, 5, 10, 15, 50-mile radius, put the signs up saying you are now entering a Christian country. Pray what to name it. Okay, just don't name it, you know, some crazy name. And 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 put the put the sign up and it says, We are ruled by Bible law. This is our Christian country. And then you would tell the population in only your area, not even one inch over your border, you would tell them you have seven days to leave the Christian country if you don't want to live here. Because you have to have grace. You have seven days to move out. Bible law is being started. And there is no other government to stop you because they're all squished down. And other ones will start to rise up around the ashes of the country, democracies and republics, and even maybe Sharia law in North Philly. Okay? They're going to rise up, but no other government's going to stop. There is no vacuum in leadership. And you as a Christian have a duty to do like the pilgrims and the Puritans did and Oliver Cromwell did. It's a duty and to set up a Christian country, a Christian government. So the size of this new country, the timing of this declaration and uh, is going to be chosen by the local pastor who has to be a theo theonomist. That would be when the timing is and the size of it. It's by the local pastor who's guided by elders or whatnot. And and you're not going to get, I'm not going to get all the details, you know, of all the laws about the gold standard and tariffs and, you know, eminent domains needs to be out the window and rights and all these different things. You, you can read the books by Russian, you can read the books by Gary North. I did a four-part series on theonomy. I'm not going to get into that. Research it yourself. I will say this. After the seven days of grace is over, the criminal laws will be enforced in that country. God has 35 death penalties, and if you are caught by two witnesses, say murder, adultery, homosexuality, false witness, a rapist, attempted kidnapping, homosexuality, bestiality, attempted kidnapping, if you're caught of one of the 35 death penalties after a very short trial with the two witnesses, the trial is the same day, must be same day trial.
by the ordained Christian civil judge, if you are found guilty, you will be hung by your wrist on a tree. All the men will come out at 5.30 after work with their AR-15s, guns, Glocks, 22s if they want. And including the judge, the sheriff, the deacons, the men, the local doctor, the local car mechanic, the men of that country are going to come out because this guy is done a death penalty on the Christian. And they had seven days ago. And they're going to be shot through until they're dead by a firing squad. After the trial, after the government falls, after the civil judge renders the verdict, okay, they will be shot through. And his body will hang there until nightfall, according to Bible law. And his body will then be burned, and he will not get a tombstone. That is what the Bible says. That is how justice is. It's supposed to be swift. Okay? Now, again, this executing of God's judges, ju judgments and justice is not until God first removes the government. Then after that, all 35 death penalties will be enforced. And if it's not a death penalty, it'd be restitution. Restitution of the thief who gets caught. He has to pay back 20% or twofold or fourfold or fivefold. Okay? And if he doesn't have the money, he gets sold into what's called bond servant. Gary North has a great book called Tools of Dominion. And the first 80 pages is all about the bond servant law. That's where I learned that from. I go, yeah, he sold it as a bond servant. Until what? He pays off the debt, not to the government, but to the victim. The guy gets his truck stolen, he's getting four times back. But if it's a work truck, he gets five times back. Okay? And so, you know, he's, he's sold. And, you know, that guy can beat him. Doesn't no, matter, black, white, whatever. I don't care. Black guys can roll and white guys in. White guys can own Indians. That ain't be any kind of, that had nothing to do with color, nothing to do with anything else. It simply has to do, if you broke that law, you're lucky we didn't put you to death because God is merciful. Instead, you get to work it off for one year, two years, three years, eight years, whatever. Now, the new master can't kill you, that, you know, but you can beat you. Yeah, you're going to do the job. Now, if you're an incorrigible criminal and you stole twice, then you're put to death. So the death penalty is, it's like I said, it's in the books in the term. Now, what the reformers did, Luther, Calvin, John Knox, they all taught and did what I just taught. They all did that. And they civil governments, and they used to execute homos, they used to do all that stuff. And the re reformers couldn't quite get to all 35 death penalties, but the Puritans in New England, the start of this country, got it the furthest. And they had at least, I think, 14 or 15 death penalties. And America was blessed for 100 years straight because of that. 100 years, so blessed, we were able to beat England, which was the superpower of the world. We beat them. And a lot of those soldiers were Christians. A lot of the guys under George Washington, the Freemason, were Christians. George Washington was a Freemason. So if you, though, YouTube listener, if you want to jump the gun, uh, you are unsaved. You are an anarchist, just like Paul Hill, and headed to hell. Now, Paul Hill acted in the name of the community, and that was his mistake. Uh, we never go to war for the community. That makes no sense at all. So that's, that's what Paul Hill did. He's the guy that shot abortion doctors. Okay, that's not what this church is about. That's not what any real church is about. It's about what I just said. Government falls, declare a Christian country, enforce it, boom. Okay, uh, We are in a spiritual war right now. It's a spiritual war, and yeah, we need to prepare, and it's good to know your local town. And I mean, really, low, know your local town. Know the residents of your local town. Know the town or towns or area that you know will later be a Christian country. Know it inside and out. And But nothing is done until, you know, God judges the government and destroys it, and it will be Washington, D.C. It has to be. That has to be one of them. Probably New York, too, I'd say, and the other ones. But the whole government will fall. And, it might, and the whole war, World War III, might be only two hours and be over. Mm -hmm. But it might it might end up being two months or drag out for two years. So, you know, that, that's a different story there. We just, you know, we, you know, just pray and preach. So while we wait, we street preach, we live holy, we read our Bibles, we pray, we study theonomy. That's what we do. And we teach this message to other Christians, so hopefully after uh, the judgment, they will take dominion in their local areas. And, and after World War III, if the old America becomes 300 countries or 500 separate countries, that's good. The more the better, because God loves decentralization. He loves decentralization. He, after the Tower of Babel, he spread them into, like, over what, 300 language groups, 1,000 language groups? I forget how many it was. We just learned it at the Ark. Well, a whole bunch of them. He loves lots. It's they're called families. You know, he, he loves lots of them. So however many it comes out, it comes out. I'm not worried about any of those other ones. I just know the country we're in. We got to serve Christ and do his laws. So lastly, and I know this church knows this, we are not Muslims. We don't war like Muslims war. What, Muslims use terror 
We don't. We teach and preach. Muslims execute children with their bombings. We don't do that. You know, it's just a criminal trial. And if you're guilty, you're going to be hung on a tree by your wrist and you're going to be shot through with the firing squad. That's the closest to the stoning pit you can have. And God, God's fine with that. If you run out of bullets, sure, you can do a stoning pit. That's biblical, okay? And, and, and when this is, and oh, the big difference us and Islam is we are after U.S. government falls. Islam fights before. They don't care. They don't, they don't care. They don't like, they don't, they like, God's not even part of their equation because Allah is Satan, okay? But this is after government falls. And it's only the criminal that's after he's taken to court case, found guilty, that then he is shot that same day. Not his children. They're not punished, okay? So I pray that you receive this because if you don't receive it, you are in error, great error, if you don't receive what I just said. Amen.